evening guys another evening of ISS pass I'm gonna have one going just over 70 I think four or five degrees above the horizon so I'll show you my sky at the moment this is what it looks like it's not ideal but the forecast still says it's gonna be okay so we will see so come and join me for this video a little heads up that's all you need for an international space station photography you need a telescope you need some accessories like the camera and lenses you need a batting off mask and you need a laptop that's all you need so I'm assembling my telescope I'm basically expanded the scope itself and now I am going to do the collimation and just do the basic setups basically it's still too bright but I'm waiting for a couple of stars to emerge and then I can take focus which is going to be I think pretty close to the flyby time so and on top of it you will see my challenges because I'm on the street there is one street light there that one so I'm sort of putting myself it's not ideal at all that's how I usually cope with my circumstances but the ISS should fly something like all the way up but because of that light street light I might be a little bit in a difficult position but I have to be on the street because from my balcony I just can't see it so what I wanted to show you is this if I put this on the maximum which is yeah okay hopefully you're gonna see how Telrad works can you see those concentric circles yep that's it so from here from this angle you see I can see the circle and there's um, Venus in the middle of it there you go that's it so it's kind of pointing towards Venus so this is how I am setting up my aim with the tail rod okay now everything is set apart from focusing you can see the big donut that's Venus and if I defocus there you go that's the half Venus but okay so I sorted it out a bit because I need two hands to keep pushing the scope so okay that's Venus sadly if I apply the Batinov mask which is that one then it cannot def I use that for sharp focus but that cannot be used with planets it can only be used with stars so I'm waiting now okay so this is the equipment I'm waiting for the sky to get dark enough I don't know when is it going to happen it's not ideal but I still have clear patches and I'm just hoping that the clouds eventually gonna go away and disappear uh, yeah that's the waiting game okay betting of mosque is on the flyby starts at 51 but it's gonna be still low so okay this is how it should look when good focus is applied and now once it's done I just take off the betting of mask and I set the correct values and let's begin Look at that, ISS is still there. Okay, let me just show you. ISS is still flying there. Look. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Still flying there. That's ISS, just there. And I just took some photos, hopefully. Look at that. How cool is that? <laughs> Honestly.
That's the International Space Station. It's getting further and further away right now. That's what it is. Now I need to find out if I captured something. Stay with me. Okay, usually when I'm packing away, I, I start breaking the video down into frames with PIPP and I just always take a look because I can see if there are some ISS popping up in the screen then I'm happy well let me show you the very first glance look at that <laughs> look at that <laughs> so this is going to be good and when I keep so I just keep pressing the buttons I keep going forward in the video so you can see you see ISS just comes into my view and it goes out so more of these happening happier I am so stay with me still and I'll show you the results <laughs> 